Hey everyone, Kujo here with a quick follow-up video to a previous one regarding Synology's active backup for business application. So I ran into an issue where it hasn't been backing up my physical devices for almost a full month as you can see here. The problem is, as you can also see here, that my SSL certificate has changed causing the agent to stop talking to the Synology NAS. This is a huge problem because I'm using Let's Encrypt, which has a 90 day expiration time if I remember correctly, so it gets renewed rather frequently meaning I would have to log into each device and manually trust the new certificate every time it got renewed, which can be a hassle and time consuming. This is a flaw in Synology's system, in my opinion, and needs to be corrected. I'm not going to turn this into a rant video about how much it bothers me. Instead, I'm going to show you a workaround that I've found that lets you address this without having to sacrifice anything. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and log into your Synology NAS. From there, click on Control Panel. Then you want to go to Security. Then go to the certificate tab. As you can see here, I have two SSL certificates listed here. The first one is the Let's Encrypt SSL certificate. The second one is a self-signed certificate from Synology, which has a expiration date of 2039. So I have quite a while before I have to worry about renewing this one. What you're gonna wanna do is click on configure, navigate to where it says active backup for business, click the little drop down arrow, and select the SSL certificate for Synology.com. Click OK. And as you can see here, the Synology.com SSL certificate now has active backup for business listed under the four. And that's it. So next we're gonna hop back over to the Synology active backup for business agent on the devices. And now when we go to trust the certificate, we are trusting the self-signed certificate so that we have a much longer expiration time, so we don't have to worry about doing this every three months. Once you accept, it'll restart the agent and show you a completed message here now. So hopefully this is a suitable workaround for you. Hopefully it doesn't cause any issues for any of the other applications. It shouldn't since we only selected the active backup for business agent. Ideally, what I would like to see is some sort of ability to add notifications for when a device misses X amount of days or backups scheduled. So this way I can get an alert when something hasn't been backed up for a week or two. That would be very beneficial, but until then, this is uh, the best solution I could come up with. So hopefully this works for you. I'd like to end this video with a few things I should address to better educate you, the viewer, about this whole process. First, using a self-signed SSL certificate is perfectly okay in a home and small business environment where the information is only accessible internally. It's not less secure, so you're fine using it. In most cases, there's no real benefit to using Let's Encrypt or a paid SSL certificate or active backup for business. And lastly, I'm fully aware that Synology has notification options for completed, failed, and ignored tasks, so I can get alerts for them. This is not the same thing though, and more alerts is not always better. In the first day of enabling just the failed and ignored notifications, I received nine emails throughout the day that were for legitimate reasons like being offline or manually skipped. If I started getting this many emails a day, they just become noise that my brain learns to filter out. If you get them all of the time, then they mean nothing when they're actually important a month or two from now. This is why I would like to see specific notifications based on the last time a device was successfully backed up. Those are my thoughts, so thanks for watching. Peace out.